of failure yeah. your personal failure and the failure from the eyes of your family and by that I don't mean only your mother and father your uncle in, in India we all are very close family yeah? your yes. relatives yeah. in their eyes they will, that's, that's why they will say why don't you be like your cousin like Ashok he's a doctor you are useless you know and probably, when you, when you hear all that, it causes you that a psychological problem, like, I'm no good, I'm useless, right? Which then causes what they call the self, uh, 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 the self, the low self-esteem. Now, so check this out. So the social pain, plus emotional pain, and psychological problem become regular, signals to resort to drug use, seeking self-medication uh, in emotional pain, seeking relief from self-involved, uh, 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 seeking relief involves self-medication for emotional pain, and the drug use is reinforced. What it means is this, simply. It means that if you have a very bad, bad headache, very bad headache, and it's only this type of Panadol from Pakistan or somewhere will help you immediately. Okay? So when, and, and so whenever you feel headache, you think of that medicine. Yes. So you become a signal. A signal. You see? And, 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 and because addiction is a learned behavior. And why is it a learned behavior? Remember I told you this morning? The apple tree, yes, it's a learned behavior. You learn how to walk, and you learn how to go there, you learn where to, what to do. Like, like when you go, if you decide to relapse, you know where to buy from. Nobody has to tell you that, right? So, so what, if you think it's a learned behavior, then you have to unlearn it. And unlearning a behavior is not easy. You know why? I tell you why. So, do you shave? You shave, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you shower and then you shave, or you shave and then you shower? How long have you been doing that? It depends. Some people shower and then shave. No, I know, individually. Since forever. Forever, right? Try tomorrow morning to shave and then you shower. Do the opposite. Uh, so shower, shower, then yeah, yeah. So whatever it is, you do the opposite. Okay. You will feel like uncomfortable. Yes. 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 Right? Yes. Yes. Like yes. Some people they wear the pants and then they wear the socks. Yeah. Yeah. Some people wear the socks and then yeah. they wear the pants. Yeah. That's a habit. That's a learned behavior. Yeah. Like the women. Some women they put the makeup and then they dress up. Some people will dress up and then they make up. Right? So addiction is a learned behavior too. And part of, and that's why it says here, so every time you feel a pain, you become a signal for relief. And the fastest relief is the using of drugs. So, in that context, um, that is why the, in the TC, there is so many rules. All right? And, these, the, and the following of these rules is giving you an opportunity to unlearn old behaviors, okay? And those old behaviors are behaviors that are associated with the subculture, right? In the subculture, you know, the lying, the cheating, you know, all of that is, is, is part, of, part of what you do, right? To find the money. So, now, so that's, that's one concept for you to learn. Now the next concept that I want to teach you is this. Now, they say that one of, 
when you are when you fall into the subculture, you I already talked about the subculture this morning, right? Yes. In the subculture, you develop a lot of attitudes. Okay, what is an attitude? Anybody can tell me? See, all I'm doing right now is telling you the signs, okay? The way you, the way you, the way you think towards a, uh, anything to do, the way you think, the way of being, the way of being, the way I way to hey, what, what I say? What you say? The way you express your feelings towards uh, doing anything, by the way you think. Okay. Our perception towards something. Right. The, and the, the way I interact with somebody. Correct. So, the, the English word is your disposition. Okay? Your dis or the way you express something. Okay? Depends on your attitude. Okay? That's why they say uh, you have a good attitude and a bad attitude. Yeah. Right? So, and that's why, you know, they say drug addicts have a bad attitude towards work. They don't like to work. They have a bad attitude towards relationship. Okay? Uh, and seriously, by, 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 I, what I mean a bad attitude uh, uh, towards relationship is because when you are in a subculture, everybody is using everybody. Correct. Everybody is using Right? You use me and I use you. Right? So, they, they, if this girl is kind of beautiful and you know, you know how to talk, you use her and then you get bored, you go to find another girl. Right? So now I have a very irresponsible attitudes to a relationship, correct? Correct. Yes. Um, and even uh, education. A lot of people, how many of you have dropped out of school? Everybody dropped out or dropped work. So you, you, you don't have the right attitude to go to school, which means what? You gotta attend the classes, do your homework, pay attention, you know, concentrate, learn, but people want to smoke ganja. If you smoke ganja, it's difficult for you to learn, right? Okay, good. So what is an attitude? What is the what is the scientific meaning of an attitude? Which is the way you think about something. Right? West pen. So yeah, I got it. So the way you think, I'm just gonna put TH, okay? The way you think will influence the way you feel. Well, that will influence the way you act, which then determines your attitude. Guys, right. you really, really have to understand this concept. Okay, this this is one of the central concepts of the TC. So, all change begins with thinking. All change, and thinking is information, right? So. If I were to ask you, what is your attitude about, in America we call it sexual orientation. Sexual orientation means gay people. What is your attitude about gay people? Well, the answer is, what do you know about gay people? And who, who taught you about the gay people? Who gave you that information? Who gave you that information? Gave gave you gave you you? So I'm Catholic. I'm Roman Catholic. And and if I grew up and my grandfather said, What is this? That's dog people. Man holding man, man kissing man. Get out of here. You know, this is crazy people. Uh, if my grandfather, and you know, in my eyes, if I'm a small boy, my grandfather is very big. Right? That's why those of you who see Ranjan, if you're new, Ranjan looks very big. Uh, so, of power and authority, so you believe your grandfather, right? So, and when, that's how you get the information, whenever you see a gay person, you like, Ugh. you feel, uh, if a, you know, uh, if, a, if, a, if a person is gay, you feel uncomfortable because of the information. And if a gay person come and put his hands around you, like that. Stay, but yeah, no, no, no. 
That's action, right? That's action. So your feelings will turn into your action. Correct. Right? And then your action becomes your attitude. So now if you want to change the attitude, you have to first change the thing. So you have to ask questions like, are you born gay or you become gay? You know, a lot of people told me around the world, the AJ, everybody think I like being gay. That's the most painful thing for me. I didn't choose. If I can choose, I want to be a man. So it's very biological. It's not a choice. If you really understand about yes. homosexuality. It's, it's medical science. Right? And, and that's why many homosexual people use drugs. Because they cannot live in a mainstream society. They feel rejected by mainstream society. Because they think it's a choice. Correct. Yeah. Mm. See? Correct. But if you really know uh, uh, gay people, it's not a choice. It's just how they feel. So, if you get now this information, then your feelings towards gay people will change. And that will change your action, which then changes your attitude. Right? So, a lot of people who come into the program, they have a bad attitude about the program. Oh, it's too long, it's too crazy, I have to cook, I have to be a department aid, I have to be an expediter, I have to confront people, this is fucked up, you know, this is not a problem. They, because nobody's telling them the information. Yes. And, uh, and here, uh, with your information, I'm coming to the information, here yes. they, in India, uh, most of the people would say, how this is going to keep me away from alcohol? Mm -hmm. How this program, how confrontation, how uh, cleaning, how mopping, how living here is going to keep me away from. So the information comes, that the thinking part Absolutely. comes in. So the right information, unless and until it's passed on, so their, 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 their attitude won't change. Okay, so thank you. So those of you who have been in the subculture, and we talked about it this morning, right? For a long time, you develop certain attitudes. Attitudes like, I don't care anymore. I die, I die. This is my karma. Oh, what about your brother? He's lucky. <laughs> you know? This is my karma. No, it's not your karma. It's not. Look at him. If it's karma, he should be somewhere else. It's a choice to recover. It's a decision to recover. That's why yesterday when, when you all say, no, he's God, I'm saying, yeah, he, what I hear is he's, you're grateful, but the idea, every one of us, there is a, a God. That means a, a God is actually a conscience that tells you what is right and what is wrong. Yeah. Right? That's the, the spirituality of, of. So what you can do is you take his spirituality and make it yours. And then you are also spiritual in that context, right? Okay, so now you, have, you develop a lot of attitudes that you change. You see, your parents trying to change your attitude. You try to change your attitude. You cannot change attitude by abracabla, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. And you've tried it already, you know, right? Many, many parents have taken their children to the, to the priest. Right? In, in Thailand, uh, I've been to Thailand many times. Everybody, I don't know if you guys know, in Thailand, every man, male, must become a monk at least the two months of their whole life. It's part of Buddhism. I don't know if you know that, you know? Yes, you have to. It's a whole ritual. They shave your head and the parents will put you in the mon monastery. That's what every man? Everyone. Everyone. Yes. Wow. If you what follow the, the Buddhist principles. What should be the age? What? What should be the age? I think they want you to do it before 18, I think. So what many parents do, but not everybody does it. They want that. It's, it's part of the, uh, the religion, but not everybody does it, right? So what some parents do, 
They said, okay, I know how to treat, treat my son. Go become a monk. So they will find a temple. They send the guy to a monk. And they go, oh, no, 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 no. They shave their head. Actually, there's a whole ceremony. They'll, they'll make the people sit in, the, in front. The priest will come, shave the head, give you the yellow cloth, and you enter the temple. But you know what these guys do? At night, they change the jeans, the t-shirt, jump the wall, and go back. So I call them. I call them. Drag and you can monk. So you cannot just do abracadabra, you know? You really have to go through a process. Just to let you know, a lot of uh, I'm sorry, a lot of Indians uh, follow Buddhism. Uh, the Namya or Engeke philosophy. Right. I was surprised. Everybody knew it last night. Right. Uh, right. Right. I my mother has been following uh, Buddhism for the past thirteen years. I'm, I believe my whole family, my sisters. It's mm -hmm. just not me. Mm -hmm. I was never into Buddhism. Mm -hmm. But they all follow the Namya or Engeke. Right. And that's why if you go to Reverend Bodhis TC, it's exactly like this. I've been there a few times, but they have a lot of Buddhist rituals in there. Alright, good. So now, we ha that is why there is a lot of uh, the rules and the values that I'm going to show you in a short while. So, so if you want to change the behavior, you change the attitude, the, sorry, the attitude, you got to change the thinking, change the uh, uh, feeling. Uh, feeling and the action, and now you have attitude, a new attitude, right? And according to science, many new attitudes put together, then you say, this man has good character. You understand? So actually, you want to follow the science, many attitudes equals to character. I'm not telling you right. So when you say, oh, Mr. Dixit has a good character, he's a good man. But he comes here all the time and with his family. That means he has a lot of good attitudes. You know, one of his attitudes is he's grateful that his son is doing well. And he's a, a retired uh, uh, engineer. And, and he's a scientist. So he's using his, his, his work to help Shafa with computer programs. Because he has a very, he's a man of character a lot of good attitudes because he's got a good thinking and because of good feeling and good action. So, if you become, graduate this program and you do it well, then you will also have a lot of good character, which then have a good attitude, which means your thinking is correct. And then, and because your thinking is correct, your, your feeling and your behavior is correct. So which is why they say it's a, a kind of uh, a, a behavior, they call the TC a, a behavior modification program. So now, let me show you this. Now I'm beginning to explain the science of the TC for you. This is a house, right? And what is usually do you find in the top of a house? Roof. roof, right? What What is the function of the roof? It protects you. Protects you uh, from what? If there's no roof, then there's no there's house. No protection. Right? How, how, how do you have a house without a roof? By the way, this whole thing I've used it around the world, and I designed it, but not the computer part. The concept is what I designed <coughs> after spending many, many years in the TC, <coughs> and I've taught this to many countries. That's a good but the, slide. Huh? But the computer, the slide, that was designed by by, by Kalina. No, Kalina's older, uh, <coughs> the first graduate. Okay. The one you you spoke to. Oh, you didn't speak to him. His name is Kanishka. He's a graduate from Mitro Mitro TC. He's now in New York. So I gave him the concept and he built the whole concept for me. It's amazing. Okay? So the therapeutic community, Shafaho, has also a roof. And that's called a psychological roof, right? So, and this roof has five ingredients. 
Just like the roof, you have a chimney, you have nail, the ingredients, okay? The first and the most important ingredient is called family. Alright? So let's look at what that is. So what is family? That means it's a, a structured method. Alright? It's a structured method. So this Shafa home is not an ordinary family. It is, that's why you say what? Good morning family, right? Yes. You guys say? Yeah. yeah. But it's not any ordinary family. This family has got rules, has got structure, and it's structured. So a, a structured method and the environment for changing human behavior in the context of community, life, and responsibility. Okay? In other words, the TC is using the concept of the family to teach people. So it means it's a healing community. That's why Shafa is a power, is an appropriate name. Okay? Healing, uh, it's a healing community. People come here because many of their attitudes are broken and they come to heal, right? Uh, a community, a group of people who share a common belief pursuing a lifestyle of right living. The opposite of right living is called wrong living, wrong. which is what happens in the subculture, right? And the community is the healer. I'll show that to you later. <laughs> and in the community, the most important thing, this is a TC in Malaysia, by the way. The most important thing in the, in, in the TC is psychological safety. Everybody who come here must feel safe. Okay? If you do not feel safe, this is not a therapeutic community. It is your responsibility and the responsibility of the staff to make sure that this place is safe. What do I mean by that? This is what I mean. Let us say if I'm in prison, and some of you have been to prison, yeah. right? If you're in prison, let's say they cook chicken, right? That day. So you line up, you get the food, okay? Yeah. And as you're walking, a big sized guy will come and just say, Give me your plate. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing you can do. Correct. Yeah. Nothing. In a prison. If you do something, what happens? When you're sleeping at night, somebody will come, you put a blanket on you. Does it happen in some TCs around, not TC, but some drug programs, even in India? Yes. Yes. So the psychological safety is our gift to you. That here, it does not matter how big you are. It does not matter whether you have a college degree or not. What matters is your attitude. That's why, how many of you who know this guy, Dr. Martin Luther King? Have you heard of him? Yes. Yeah. He's, he's the guy who found, who freed the slaves. Correct. So Dr. Martin Luther King actually Dr. Martin, Martin Luther King, according to history, got many of his ideas, you know, from who? From Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, of nonviolence. So, Dr. Martin Luther King said this, a man should be judged not by the color of his skin, but by the content of his character. How many of you know the concept act as if? What does that mean? Act as if you pretend to do something, if you don't like to pretend to do that, you will actually get to you'll it. Become, Even if you become that, if you keep on uh, acting like what you want to be, one day you'll uh, actually become that. Everybody, everybody heard it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So actually it's not pretend. You act like you know. Correct. So I'll give you the scientific explanation now, alright? Many people don't know this. So let us say I'm going for a, a job interview. Right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm waiting. I'm sitting here. So they, I remember in India, they come and call your name. Mr. Rajesh, right? 
You go in, the guy go in, like that. Oh, he's oh, coming out, he's like. <laughs> oh shit, man. There must be a tough interview. Now you're, you are now scared, right? Your, heart, your hands are sweaty. You are, you're, you're, you're getting anxious. Like, oh my god, what, what is. So now you feel nervous. Right? So, and, and here's where you act as if. So you feel nervous, and then you, you're, you're wondering when you call AJ, AJ, oh, oh <laughs> that's me. Uh, I go there, I'm like, uh, sit down. What, what's your middle name? Because now I'm anxious, right? Act as if I act like I am confident. Okay, so say, 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 AJ. AJ. Yeah, hi. Doctor, can I come in, sir? Good morning, my name is AJ. Yeah, can I take a seat? See how I shake your hand? Can I take a seat? Sure. So I act like I'm confident. So if you do the action first, the feeling will follow. True. That's the act, is it? You do the action first. Whether you believe in the action or not, the, if you do the right action, the right thinking and feeling will follow. follow. And when the right thinking and feeling follows, now it becomes another. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah.